Hi, I am Samya and I am one of the passionate English language learners. So I have been studying English for around two years now. And in this video, I will be showing every single thing to you that what kind of content I have followed, what kind of resources I have used. And I would also be showing all of my notes that how I studied grammar, how I studied vocabulary and how I used to construct sentences when I was not able to speak properly. So overall, I will be breaking every single thing down into pieces to help you understand things better. So I first began learning English in year 2022 from completely scratch. So logically, I can say that I have learned English as a complete foreign language just by myself sitting at my home without taking help of anybody and without joining any institute. Ever since I started learning English, I only used free resources available on the internet. So if you are someone who wants to learn English and wants to become fluent in English, then you don't need to worry about spending money on learning this language or on this journey because there are tons of informations out there which you can use as an English language learner. So you can easily learn this language without taking help of any tutor and without joining any institute. So if you are someone who is passionate about this language, then stick to this video because this video will be helpful to you a lot. So let's begin. This is the notebook I was using initially. Although it's not my first notebook, perhaps I lost my first one. But I was using this notebook when I was a complete beginner. So as you can see, I used to translate everything from my mother tongue to English because I was not able to construct sentences. Even these sentences are not correct. They are full of grammatical mistakes. Sometimes I have even spelled incorrectly. When it comes to basic phrases, greetings or introductions, like how have you been doing, I have been doing absolutely amazing or I am fine. You don't necessarily need to understand grammar because if you want to go anywhere above these basic phrases, you have got to have a good understanding of it. Like I already mentioned before that I did not really spend money while learning English. So I used only those resources and those textbooks which was available at my home. So this is the grammar book I focused on in the beginning. But I would like to tell you one thing that whichever grammar book you could find is sufficient initially because all the grammar books contain the same information which is just presented in different ways. Textbooks don't really matter as much your mindset does. But still, if I were to mention some online resources, then there are some YouTube channels I liked in terms of grammar. For example, Dear Sir, English Connection. But I personally prefer studying grammar from books because it seems more structured and organized to me. Additionally, it provides exercises which tests you how much you have learned so far. But it depends upon you which one you like. But uh, I would highly recommend you to try out both of them and then stick to one. Now let's jump into vocabulary. There is something important I would like to speak about and it's my personal opinion that do not try to memorize every single word you come across. In the beginning, I used to write down every single word 
and whenever I read or heard something new, I used to get excited and think that, yeah, I am going to remember this one. And gradually, it became my habit to write every single word down and memorize them. But later, I realized it was extremely overwhelming because I was writing them down but unable to use them when I need it since I was not understanding the context. And then I decided to explain things in a piece of paper instead of just writing down a separate word and translating them in my mother tongue. I decided to understand the meaning in English with the help of simple words and then give an example that how to use this specific word whenever I have to speak. In the beginning, I would not highly recommend you to use any application for your speaking practice since you are not comfortable in speaking. Well, I am not stopping you to use any application. It's just that if you can't construct sentences properly, then people might not talk to you, which can lead to disappointment. So if you are a complete beginner, then speak to yourself. And if the question is how to do it, then I will give the link of the video in the description box because I have already talked about it several times. Now, moving to the application you can use once you start constructing sentences. So the first application I used was S Fluency and Open Talk. These are user-friendly applications so you can easily use them and practice speaking in English. As a beginner of English language, I began learning English by watching videos since it was more comfortable and providing me subtitles that was extremely important to me. I used to watch videos in different genre to find out what I really like and ended up liking self-growth, personal development kind of content. While you are learning English, reading plays a significant role to help you enhance your English. Well, a lot of people have this misconception that if I don't have books, then I cannot learn English or I cannot become fluent in English. So let me tell you, I began my journey without having books since I did not have one. At first, I used to read articles on Google or on Chrome browser. And if I did not understand at least 70 to 80 percent of them, then switched back to another one since it was not meant for me. So this is how I began reading. But later on, I got a book, You Can Win, which I revised five times and then got another one and the next one and revised them too. Since this video was aimed towards beginners, I mainly talked about how I taught myself the language. I hope your language learning journey goes well. Hope you enjoyed watching this one. Bye-bye.